What is good, Grey Gang? We're here today. It's me and Adam. If you'll get into the frame any second. There he is. Now, I'm just going to say this. I walked outside today. I send up the drone, fly it over, and this is what we start seeing, okay? We're flying over. We got the pine thicket up on the cliff. Same as always, right? But as I come over to the first trap, remember, guys, I have three traps. But as I come on over, I'm looking down at my trap. Boom. I see something shaking. I don't know if it's Coyote. I don't know if it's Bobcat. But as we get closer, we start zooming in we can very easily see that that's a raccoon i mean you can see you can literally see his perfect raccoon eyes but yeah guys long story short flew the drone up we caught a coon and now it's up to my job me and adam we have to actually go up there and get the coon see it's not easy to just get up there and well check the trap it's easy to check them because i can do it with a drone but for me and adam we we can't fly so it's going to be really hard and we have to get out the grappling hook and it's probably not going to be easy to get up there because it's actually been raining a ton lately and so the whole mud side of it's probably going to be just straight mud all right guys we're actually heading up there we're walking through the field adam's never climbed it before and now that we're getting kind of close he's really understanding why you need a grappling hook i feel like a lot of people don't realize why we need a grappling hook because they're not actually here but it's pretty big like, i don't really know how to explain it but it's a really big mountain and it's really steep too oh my gosh what i ain't got enough core strength to climb this it's a cliff dude it's a straight up cliff that's straight up a wall i know that's why we need a grappling hook that's why there's so many critters up there because no one ever gets up there to take them out it doesn't look this steep on the, on the camera i think the way we're actually going to go up is a little bit easier it's the one i usually go up it's right through there on that little uh i don't know trail how still you, pretty steep how do you get down i don't know i've never really done it this way before on to the gopro you're gonna need the camera put up you're gonna need both hands both legs and probably an extra arm if we could get it all right here we go i got the same old rope as last time but today i just uh, tied it to a carabiner i'm gonna make a permanent carabiner that way it's easier to just clip and unclip. See right here, we can come in. Boom. Now we're connected to the grappling hook. Watch this bad boy. What do you think about this? This is major league trapping right here. Claw machine. Something like claw. that. The claw. <laughs> grappling hook's ready to go. If you can, we're gonna try to hike up it as far as we can. That way we don't have to throw it the whole way. Where's the trap at? Just in case I get up there and that raccoon's looking at me. Um, just be careful. Just go slow. Be careful, and you should be okay. Just don't make any fast movements. Oh, snap. Yep, you going first for me. I don't have a grappling hook. What am I supposed to do? Just follow me, and if I fall, don't try to catch me, or you may come down with me. All right, here we go. We're going to try to walk right up this like the deer did. Yeah, come on up here. This is as far as we're going to get to go. It's at this point right here that we can climb, but then right up here in a few more feet, it actually gets to where you can't. I don't know how it looks on the camera, but this is really steep. Oh my gosh. We got to get straight up it, dude. Like, this ain't going to be easy, and it never was going to be. I don't do heights now. You don't do heights? Uh-uh. Well, we're, we're climbing. I've got a better way than you, though. How's your way? You'll see. Do you need a grappling hook for it? Oh. See, he's already slipping. Whoa. How's your way? I'm going to go right up that way and use the grappling hook. Really? Yeah, I'm going to step on them rocks. It's got supported by a tree. That is not a sturdy rock. That's supported by a tree. This right here, this right here is definitely the best way to go, I think. That little path? Yeah, I mean, it's a path that squirrels, I mean, deer used, but, I mean, we can't go up it without a grappling hook. But with a grappling hook, I think we can. You want to throw it? No, I'm in a bad spot to throw you sure? Yeah, I don't know what you want to connect to. Yeah, most of these trees are dead. That's what you got to look out for. And don't forget this one that we're standing under is also dead, and it can fall at any moment. It's sketchy, bro. I'm just going to go for this throw. Here we go. Let's see what we can do. All right, there we go. We're in pretty good. Ah! Okay. Here we are. I'll, I'll try to reset this a little bit better for Adam. You should be good. No, you're good. Dude. You're good right there. Loose. Come on up. It ain't going to unattach, though. I think it's on there great. Come on up. There you go. You just got to run it, man. At this point, you got to use the rope to pull you up instead, and your feet just to gotcha. keep you from falling over. Just come on up. We can use the, we can grab the rope later. As long as you don't let go of the rope, you should be okay. There we go. Okay, good. People don't think this is steep, but... I see about falling. Don't break this tree off. I don't think I'm stuck. I'd be careful, bro. People don't think this is steep. You're a wild man. 
Yeah, it's a little steep, man, just saying. You wanna try that way? Sure. There's a good chance that I hook that uh, dead branch and it comes down on us, so just be careful. I'm holding onto this live tree. Well, you let go of the rope, Adam. <laughs> good job. All right, we pull. All right, here you go. Pull it until we, until you hit strike gold. You struck gold? I think you're good. Oh, oh, there you go. It. I think you're solid now. Right here we go. Come on up. Let me go on up first. That way we don't put both of our weight on it at once. Here we go. Okay. I got your rope. Okay. Okay. Come on. Almost there. Okay. Yeah, it's latched in pretty good onto this tree. You should be, should be able to just pull it up and come on up. Yeah, it's on there pretty good. That's a pretty solid tree. If it falls down, just, uh, I don't know, brace your face or something. Get up to a ball and hope that nothing impels you. See, this is fun, I think. Just like that, we're up here. Getting down for the hard part. Yeah, getting down is definitely the hard part because we got a half this rope, so we can only drop down half this rope's length at a time. That's gonna be a really hard part, but. And we'll cross that cliff when we get there. <laughs> That's one reason I like trapping on top of the cliff is because half of the adventure is stinking getting here. As we're making our way over to the raccoon, I want y'all to go ahead and uh, hit the subscribe button if you're not already. And also, I've not said this yet, but I'm actually going to drop a 10% promo code on the website right now. It's going to be called HUNT10, all caps HUNT10. From now until probably, I don't know, maybe a couple days, I'm not 100% sure, it's going to be 10% off all of our hunting stuff. That's hunting clothes, hunting bags, hunting fanny packs, scopes, anything you use for hunting on kindlegraywell.com slash shop use promo code hunt 10 and you're going to get 10 off of it God, that thing's wet. yeah it's wet it's a wet log it just flooded three days ago we're really close to the raccoon too but one thing i was going to say this hat right here is the camo kgo it's also included in the hunting products and i'm going to give you all a little sneak peek there's about 12 of them left, so grab them now. The raccoon should be somewhere close, and I'm sure he's not going to be too happy about this. He should. Yeah, he's there. He's right over there. Do you see him yet? He's right over there. I set the trap. Oh, yeah, he's hiding. He doesn't seem that big, but he seems really... He's right there. He's all curled up. I have a stick in my boot. How did that get there? I don't know if he's hiding or if he's actually that small. He seemed way bigger. Oh, he's just playing us right there. He was just playing us. I thought he was hung up around that log, but he was just he's just using his slack. We got him. I don't know if you can see him. We got him right there on the back foot catch. Perfect for a raccoon. This was actually a dirt hole set I set quite a long time ago. He's actually biting the trap right now. I don't, I don't think he realizes what's about to go down. I'd say looking at the catch circle, he hasn't wore it out too bad. We probably got him late last night or early this morning. Where's his tail? His tail should be... I have no idea. This man don't have a tail. Bro, he really don't. He don't have a tail. What do you mean keep him? Like pool pond or what? Pet. Yeah, sure. We'll keep a raccoon as a pet. Yeah, if you think he's nice, just uh, look at the stick and see. Look at that tree. See how much he's chewed it up over the past three hours. Right. I think we're going to eat him because I've not ate raccoon all year. And I feel like it's really about time to eat one. So, do we name it? Of course we name it. What's his name though? Rondel. Rondel Raccoon? Sounds good to me. Welcome to the Grey Gang, Rondel. You'll be exiting short. That was brutal. He's trying to get low. He doesn't know why we're here. And he's kind of wanting us to just pass on over. He's thinking we're like pilgrims or something. Maybe a, a tribe of Indians just moving through. Some nomads, if you will. I wouldn't get that short a stick. That thing will rip it out of your hands and hit you with it. Bro, he's nice. He's not nice. He Bro. seems pretty smart. Bro, I don't even have a tail. See, just a little nibble. Just a little nibble, that's all. He's trying to take it. He's trying to take it from me. Let him have it. He, he's taking the stick. Dude, you can't do that. You can't, he just stole the stick from me. <laughs> Anyways, guys, we got the gun right here. Show him what we're going to be using. We are going to take him out swiftly and effectively. We are using the old 22 1911. That's the one there I tried to kill a squirrel with and I never hit one, so... uh yeah, pretty should be a pretty good trap gun. We'll show you Rondel real quick. We had dispatched him pretty quickly and cleanly. We don't know what he is, boy or girl wise, but we know he's a rack of good fur, good meat. Is he confirmed dead? What do you think? Confirmed? I think so. We'll check his out his teeth. There's his teeth. Straight I, munchers, dude. I don't know. He actually seems pretty old because you can see in the back of his mouth, a lot of his teeth are actually worn down. So he could be an old coon, just overall smaller size. He doesn't have a tail. We've actually confirmed that. Used to be right here, and now it is a nub. Probably from fighting, if we're going to be honest. Probably got in a fight with something. Anyways, we're going to bring this guy back. We've 
got to try to figure out some kind of way to get back down the hill with the coon because that's going to add an extra probably 20 pounds to our weight and then after we get down there we just got to skin him up cook him up and eat him up and here we are we got the raccoon we got the grapple hook now we just gotta find a way down what are you thinking adam i'll let you be in charge of that okay we gotta be able to get down but not only get down but we also have to be able to bring the rope back with us so here's what i think what are you thinking sir? i think we double it over this one right here that way there's two strands going down that way whenever we get down to that tree we can pull one end down wrap her in again go on down pull it out wrap it around go on down and then we're at the bottom i thought i was following the same path the whole way down I think we do too. I think it'll probably be the best way. Now I'm going to have to come down like this. And then as I go down, pull them both with me. And then at the end, I can just pull one side all the way and I can keep going on down. Like this, see? I'm still going down. But at this point, since this is really all the rope I have, I'm going to have to pull it on out, wrap the hook around here, and then just restart just like that. And then do that ever so often. Just wrap around another tree every time. Look right here, bud. Here you go. Then you do what I did. There's your two ropes. There you go. Now you just walk on down. And there we go. Do we still have the gun and the camera? Yeah. Okay, good. If we didn't, we'd been in trouble. Sorry. Yeah. Wait, hold it. We'll go put it up. Okay. Oh, we'll come in here and hang this big, big rondel up. I think we have confirmed that rondel is a boy as well. So there, there he is hung up. We'll go ahead and get started on this guy pretty soon. See you then. Adam, I've been thinking about it. I think you probably should you video everything. I, I think I'm going to start a YouTube channel. It'll be weird, but I mean, I think I'm going to start a YouTube channel because I do hunting and stuff. And I think I'm just going to start taking a camera and like a GoPro and start videoing the stuff I do outdoors. And have like, it'll be like an outdoor vlog channel is what it'll be. Mm -hmm. You think anybody will watch it? Uh, there'll be a few people maybe family. but i think i'm gonna be a youtuber it's far-fetched but i think i'm gonna try but anyways let's go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and dig into this uh rack em. we're gonna go ahead and skin this raccoon the knife i'm gonna be using today right here it's a kg pocket knife this one's a trapper style and it is made out of black ox horn it's a good all-purpose knife i carry it every day i uh, i open boxes with it in my mail and today i'm gonna come out here and i'm just gonna show you i can even skin a fox with it but this is a coon but it's the same difference i don't know if y'all have seen this but i came in here recently and i built me some high technology engineering stuff to where i can actually decide how high he goes see he goes up and he goes down right now i want him about right there so i'm just gonna come in here wrap that around one two come up to the top and hang it, and right there, we're good to go. Anyways, guys, I'm just gonna come in here, cut him around this way, pull down this way. We are gonna try to do a catch a cook, and I tell you what, the main place I'm gonna eat is probably right here, the back leg. I done a catch a cook, I think, last year, and I ate the back leg, and it was really, really good. Oh, yeah, and while I'm skinning this, these uh these little pocket knives that like everyday carry, they're also under hunting products where you can get 10% off of these. If you want one of these knives or any kind of hunting gear, head on over to kindlegrade shop. Use promo code HUNT10. And now I don't want to show too much blood to y'all because YouTube really don't like it and it's not a good idea to get on the bad wrong side of YouTube, you know what I mean? But I'm not I'm not gonna try to show you this, but just believe me. We're cutting it like butter. I'll show you this right here, and you can watch the skin peel back. How's that? See, just peeled it back right like that. Feel, 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 feel. And then unfortunately that's all I'm gonna get to show you. We'll see you when it's time to eat it. And here we are guys, we uh, kinda just cut off the leg and next thing we know we're right here, we're right here, okay? We're already in here, we've already got some garlic salt on it and some random looking stuff. I don't even know what that is, it's supposed to go on steak or something so I figured it'd work here. But I got it in a slow cooker crock pot thing. I didn't know it took five hours guys, I mean I'm just gonna be honest with you. It's already 423, I'm gonna be eating this thing at midnight. But we're gonna do what we gotta do. Got olive oil. I'm just going to real basically just pour some over it just like that. And honestly, I think that should be good. I'm just going to put the top on it. Now all we really got to do is just wait because, I don't know, cooking takes time. Here we are, guys. It's actually been like a couple hours and the coon is getting done pretty good. I don't know if y'all can tell, but I just reached in there and I pulled some off of my fork. So it's getting pretty done. Just going to say that. It's a pretty, pretty simple, pretty simple cooking process. Just put it in there and then uh, we'll let it sit there for a long time. Since this is just me and like there's nothing else to eat here, I never put potatoes in. We're going to make some macaroni and cheese, okay? So if you don't know how to make macaroni and cheese, hold on for a second because we're about to make a stinking cuisine. And also, don't know if you noticed, but I actually changed shirts 
to a new shirt. This is going to be the KG RPG shirt. Recently, if you don't know, I actually got an inert RPG, and a lot of you guys really liked it too. So I was like, you know what? Maybe they want a shirt with it. Plus, I like this one because it's like a small logo. It's real subtle. So whenever you get on there and order all your hunting stuff, don't forget to go ahead and pick one of these up too while you're at it. And for these macaronis, you know I love to do stuff homemade from scratch. So we're gonna start it off right here with some Velveeta in a cup. Step one, to, you gotta pull the, pull the top up. There we go. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, sir. Look at that. Homemade. Just did that a couple of minutes ago. Next, we pull out the cheese and we fill this cup full of water. What a beautiful creation I have created. Mm-mm. Also, this is not sponsored by them. Velveeta, I'm talking to you. If you want to sponsor me, just hit me up. I'm always available. Step nine. Open up the packet that came in the macaroni. Probably opening this pack is the hardest part of all of it. Step 16. Put the cheese in the bowl that they gave you. And boom, just like that, you've made 100% homemade organic orange juice. Wow, that's fantastic. Now to finish your new cuisine, simply stir and stir it good. Otherwise, there's a 6% chance you will contract the coronavirus. So stir your cheese good. I'm just kidding, it's 7%. But back to the coon, wonder what percentage y'all got of getting coronavirus for this sucker. I mean, this, I don't know. Is this meant to be eaten? Raccoon? Another weird piece of raccoon. I'm just gonna grab it out. Leg and all, dude. Straight up leg and all. Boom, there it is. Eat that, Rondel. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get me some ketchup. We're gonna head down to the basement. And hopefully we don't die there. Mm-mm. Look at this seven course meal here. We got roadkill as our main course, ketchup as our first side, and then over here we have peanuts as our second side. But anyways, let's get down to business. Let's engulf this thing. Fun fact. I got a secret for you guys. I remember the last raccoon ketchup cook I did. It was me and Abram. And I'm pretty sure that video was this camera's first time being used. But speaking of the RPG shirt. Say hello to my little friend. Yes sir, yes sir. RPG7. If you've not saw that video, you seriously have to go watch it. After I get done choking on this coon. But anyways, let's just dive on into it. Here was one piece. I actually ripped it off earlier just to see if it was tender. Um, into ketchup as always. I don't know guys, it kind of looks like jerky, but we'll try it. I don't know guys, I don't know. Not bad, not really. The last one was so much better. What did I do wrong this time? Bring us through, bring out one good piece of meat. That's probably your best chance, man. I'm so sad. I'm gonna eat the macaronis, they're good. Mm. World class, homemade and everything. Organic. Organic. I don't know what to think, guys, because I automatically think that it shouldn't taste good because, I don't know, maybe it's a raccoon. Like, I already have a pre existing opinion about it. And it is not good. No, I'm sorry. It's not that good. I actually don't know what's going on. I may have found some good meat, though. <gasps> oh, I may have found the good meat. I may have found the real tender meat. I like tender. <sighs> yep, it's good. As long as you find the right meat and probably cook it a little bit different than I did, it'll be good. I just don't know how to feel because I remember very vividly last time I done a raccoon kitchen cook. Tasted really good. Kind of mad because I don't know what's going on. I don't even know if I should call this video a kitchen cook. I mean, I kind of feel bad for some of you guys if you go home and try to do the same recipes as me. Like, I feel bad for you. These are good though. At least you can take this tip home. These are pretty good. really big fan of the 600 milligrams of sodium that's in these but besides that I'll let it pass if it wasn't for these macaronis I'd probably be crying right now but yeah guys if you want to see the RPG video you can click up here if you want to see some of my other kitchen cooks click right up here feel free to watch them all and truly tell me what percentage of them taste good probably a very low percentage